The Dangerous Rise of Men Who Won't Date Woke Women by Vicky Spratt. <laughs> oh, I don't need to tell you exactly how this looks to me. It looks to me like someone. It looks like this uh, person, this so-called journalist, is uh, probably a bit clowny. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Obvious, and today on Refinery29.com. So, The Dangerous Rise of Men who won't date woke women. First of all, why does this person feel entitled to men dating them? Um, isn't that a very toxic attitude? Like, you're not entitled to a man. You're not entitled to the dating of a man. And what is this about a dangerous rise of men who won't date woke women? Dangerous? Why is it dangerous? Who is it dangerous to? I have so many questions about this nonsensical article. So let's check it out. Here's a photo of a man. I'm not exactly sure who it's supposed to be. Maybe it's the uh, the author's depiction of the of the man's man who won't date a woke woman. I don't know. Let's see. The word irrespective means saying or doing something without taking anything else into account. For example, irrespective of the fact that the cost of living has jumped, putting pressure on many people the government plowed on with Brexit and argued there would be no real economic impact. So right off the bat, we already know who this person is. Now, I'm an American, okay, so I may not be an expert on the Europe's because, uh, let's be honest, who even cares, man? America is number one. This is obviously a leftist, and you know because they're anti-Brexit. Brexit's about independence from the European Union. Even as an American, I know that the European Union is the globalist's wet dream. It is destructive, horrible, and the EU is basically like a fake government. Okay, they're a union, so-called an economic union of countries in Europe, but the EU thinks that it can tell everybody what to do, who they can trade with, what they're allowed to do, uh, to take immigrants, to, to, to give in to the globalist wet dream, and to sell out your nation. So Brexit was about saying, no, we don't want to be part of the European Union anymore. We're declaring our independence. And you know what? Godspeed to Britain. But you know what? More power to Britain because they made the right decision and they're leaving. So it is fitting that the white man of the moment, Lawrence Fox. Okay, is this the person, apparently, who appeared on the BBC's Question Time program and told a BAME audience, I don't know what BAME means. A BAME audience member? What is BAME? Let's look it up. So apparently, BAME is an abbreviation for Black, Asian, and Minority Ethnic, used to refer to people in the UK who are not white. Now that doesn't seem discriminatory at all. Wow. So apparently you don't call them minorities? Or, or, uh, are, are Asians not minorities? What is the difference between Black and Minority Ethnic? What is this term? What What is BAME? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. No, not that BAME. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that Meghan Merkel has not been on the receiving end of re 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 basically. Before subsequently appearing on the cover of the Sunday Times to tell the world he does not date woke women. Based in red pill. And then displaying an appalling understanding of history by calling the inclusion of the, uh, what, what are they called? The, the sicky? The sick? The Sikh? Sikh. I think it's Sikh. Sikh soldier in Sam Mendes film of 1917. Incongruous has irrespective tattooed on his arm. Now, uh, well, what's he complaining about exactly? Um, maybe he's complaining about historical inaccuracy. That is, that's what I would assume he's complaining about. And I have to agree. I hate the blatant propaganda. It's worse with the BBC. It's worse with frickin' Europe. They're always, always putting, oh, let's cast, let's cast people who were never there in history in there, aka we want to make some propaganda. Okay, it, it makes no sense. If you're going to go back to like medieval Europe and during the time historically, it was like 99.99% .99 Caucasian, it makes no sense whatsoever to make a historical show or whatever about that time period and cast the people unrealistically. It makes no sense. That's not real history. I would like historical accuracy. Imagine, for example, okay, let's say they made a show about China. 
Okay, let, let's talk about China, okay? Back when Mao was running things, what if they decided that uh, instead of instead of displaying the Chinese culture that was 99.99% Chinese, we're going to include Asians and white people because we want to be um, woke. We want to be woke. Not only would the Chinese people be very, very upset, people would certainly say that, wait a minute, that makes no sense. This isn't historically accurate. Duh. Did you hear that at the back, ladies? Lawrence Fox, who you perhaps only knew as Billy Piper's ex-husband because you've never seen Lewis, what? Does not date woke women. you goddamn right you don't. Who he believes are being taught that they are victims, irrespective of whether they are right or not. <laughs> Maybe because uh, in modern society, a lot of people are being taught that they are victims and that everything is someone else's fault and that nothing is their own responsibility, that nothing is their own fault, that they're um, without guilt and without flaws, which is obviously nonsense. Everyone has their own responsibilities and everyone can be at fault. It is important that people have accountability for themselves. He thinks it's institutionally racist to tell the story of the First World War in a racially diverse way, irrespective of the fact that Sikh soldiers absolutely fought for Britain. Okay, I need a citation then. Give me a citation, give me the proof, make make it representative. Because I don't want to see a story about World War I that is not historically accurate. I don't want to be lied to. History is about what happened. History is not about what we wish happened. There are lessons to be learned from history. And ironically, lessons that might teach us to actually be more tolerant and be more understanding of the past and our potential mistakes. But how can you do that when you make up a fake history that never happened? And he also doesn't believe in white privilege. Because it's not real. There are plenty of poor white people. Irrespective of the fact that he works in a painfully undiverse industry. Okay, painfully undiverse? It's not painfully undiverse. I've seen Europe's uh, industry. And I gotta tell you, a lot of the people, they aren't white. So you're wrong. Was privately educated and comes from a wealthy acting family, which is nothing short of a dynasty. It sounds like you're jealous. It sounds like you're very, very jealous. Fox is denying racism and uh, cism, irrespective of whether or not they exist. It's nothing short of gaslighting. It's all very Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, just call it Donald Trump and that'll make your argument correct because orange man bad. Orange man bad. They have nothing of substance to say. No sense in their words. Ridiculous. It's all very Donald Trump. Oh, <laughs> very Donald Trump. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I know there's some of you out there who want a calm and rational analysis of this lunacy in a British accent. I wish I could give you a British accent. But instead, you get a Yankee who, who's going to shoot off his revolver and tip his cowboy hat. Yes, I am a Yankee. I honk the horn. That's America, baby. I could go over all the things he said. I could use data to prove how wrong he is. But let me guess, you're not going to because uh, you don't actually have any legitimate data. You can't actually cite any sources. And the fact is, you actually can't prove your argument. Yet you're going to say, oh, of course, I could have listed data and statistics, facts and logic to prove him wrong, but I won't. But I could have, but I won't. Yeah, I totally believe you. I, I totally believe you. I could ex express concern for his mental health. Just a note, it is illegal to psychologically diagnose someone if you do not have a medical degree. Somebody better call uh, the BBC, well, uh, the Europe police, the, the Euro police, call the EU. <laughs> I could make jokes about his behavior, but all of that would be to seriously miss the point. Are you saying the... The point has nothing to do with facts and truth? If that's what you're saying, then I believe you. Because I believe this has nothing to do about facts or the truth. It's about your personal beliefs. You're woke. And you're mad. You're shaking in your little high heels that this alpha Chad won't date you. Not wanting to date woke women, far from being laughable, 
is actually one of the more insidious aspects of it. <laughs> Spend an afternoon on any major dating app, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically no one wants to date her, nobody likes her, and she's uh, unattractive to them because they don't like liberal thinking. Oh, well, too bad. Too bad. You're not entitled to a man. That's the way the world works. If a, wo if a man is not entitled to a woman, then in an equal world, women are entitled to men. Not just, uh, it's not just women, it's men too. Okay, that's equality. Wow, okay, my God. It's so hard to believe that these articles aren't satire sometimes. In fact, as I'm writing this, a friend sent me a screenshot of a guy she just matched with who describes Jordan B. Peterson as his dream dinner guest. Yes, the same Jordan B. Peterson who thinks that white privilege is a Marxist lie. It is a Marxist <laughs> It is. It's a Marxist lie. It's cultural Marxism. It's a lie. It always has been. It's true. And wants millennials to drop their obsession with social justice. They should. Because social justice is a cancer. A cancer on our society. Just like you woke cultists. It's a cult. It's always been a cult. That's what it is. I know what cults are. I've studied cults. I've attempted to understand cults in my research. They're cults. Then she says uh, she blocked someone because they said women are... <laughs> they criticize the women. And that they treat men as if they're disposable. I gotta say, the way you're writing this article, I'm starting to know why. He probably thought those things. So she goes on to complain about anti-feminist groups and the movement without actually uh, examining what could be wrong with her. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Maybe there's somewhere where you're wrong. Instead of, uh, well, she goes on to slander men, slander the right-wingers, uh, to slander the right-wing movement, and so on and so forth. And she's complaining and complaining and complaining. Oh, she brings up MAGA. <laughs> Look what she writes here. Fox is a case in point. What might start as playing devil's advocate by wandering the streets in a MAGA cap to provoke hipsters can quickly turn into something more sinister. What a joke. What a fool. This is nothing. Like, this article means nothing. It's a joke. When the enemy has no face, society will invent one. Exactly. When the enemy has no face, you will invent one. And for these woke women... That means blaming men for all their problems. So maybe that's why he won't date woke women. And you need to understand, you claim to believe in equality, yet you won't treat men equally. So what does that say about you? So th this article's trash. I can't, I can't even read it anymore. Vicky Spratt, you are a woke woman. You are insane. That is why no one wants to date you. Because you are insane 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 in the membrane or however that song goes crazy and you know what's funny in the comment section people tear her to shreds so it's not just me let's read orange tree says the dangerous rise of men who won't have sex with me careful vicky you're sounding a lot <laughs> you're sounding like an incel oh my goodness i have to agree with that assessment um she kind of sounds like a female incel Kind of like a femme cell. Who would have thunk it? I mean, she's saying that men are, or she's entitled to men to have intercourse with her? That, that's not right. You shouldn't force anybody to. I think it's very sick. So here, Blue Trumpet replies, incel is a term invented by a feminist woman. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Oh my God. Incel was not invented by women. Incel is short for involuntary, celibate, which means involuntarily a virgin, someone who would like to lose their virginity but can't, usually because they're just not as attractive or maybe not uh, all socially there, by a man who created an incel subreddit community where men who were involuntary celibates would talk to each other. And then the media picked up the word, ran with it, pretended like it was a thing. It was never a thing. Nobody used that term. Everybody on 4chan thought that the incel Reddit and Reddit in general was cancer and cringe. Not even 4chaners used that word. It was the media. It was these, these ignorant fools. So no, she doesn't sound like an incel. And then she goes on to say that incel means uh, women with 
I don't actually know what she says. So no, she doesn't sound like one, definitely. Oh, okay. I don't understand what his first line means. Okay, okay, okay. I got a little confused on this comment. This person isn't saying that uh, incels were invented by feminists. Well, th that's what they say. They say incels a term invented by feminist women, but it's not. It's not actually. I explain that, but they do say, so no, she doesn't sound like an incel. She definitely is one by the definition. An involuntary celibate. Yeah. Okay. Well, they, I, I hope I at least provided some more context. I, I, I think, I don't know if they made a spelling error or if this is just too British for me to understand what exactly the sentence says. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't know. Green Tree says, who would date these screechy, screechy borderline wackos? Red Processor says, White privilege is in fact a Marxist lie, and feminists are just as hateful as the people they're supposedly fighting. Well, I agree. I agree a lot with these people. I have to say that. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it off with this comment, because I like it a lot. Cyan Submarine says, Plenty of men won't date or even talk to woke women. I'm training my sons to not even speak to girls that exhibit any signs of the disease. Base. Absolutely base and red-pilled. You know, th this person, I don't know if they're a real. I don't know if they're a troll. But what I do know is this headline is hilariously wrong and really clowny. Obviously, a man has no obligation to date someone he doesn't want to date. That includes woke women. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? <laughs> women out there, please let me know what you think. I honestly want to, to better understand both sides of the argument as well as uh, the opinion of women. So be sure to let me know what you think. Now, as always, if you want to support the content that I make, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1. There is a joining bonus if you're interested. Check my pages down below in the description. There are links uh, for more details. You can also donate via Bitcoin. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.